At 99, Will Barnett is still very much a working artist. It's true that his career has spanned every important genre of modern American art, and that he's sort of the last of the Mohicans, from an era of artistic giants. But just as he did when he came to New York as a 19-year-old nobody, Will Barnett paints every day. And down here, it's going to be a very strong sort of a yellow ochre color to hold this space here. It's a big space. It's also got a certain... As a longtime printmaker and art teacher at the Art Students League, Barnett has either socialized with or taught names usually reserved for history books. In the 1920s, he watched John Singer Sargent paint murals at the Boston Public Library. And later, he taught Mark Rothko printmaking. He was a very troubled man, but... Uh, That's what they say. It's not for me to say what they were, you know. Yeah. He was very nice, and for, for about a year, he kept coming in and out at the league, working with him in my graphic class. Wow. Mark Rothko, yeah. At 72, Peter Barnett continues his father's tradition of teaching by heading the painting department at Montclair State University. I did watch my father teach uh, a lot, and he has a way of being honest where he, he says exactly what he thinks, but he does never puts people down. He seems to always try and find some little good thing in their painting and try and encourage that. And I think I have some of that too. Maybe I have a little too much of it, but <laughs> these look a little dangerous too. <laughs> Everything, it's a dangerous world you live in. It's a little, yeah. well, sometimes it's good to be out of your comfort zone. No, I'm, I'm really, the way that he takes his style and, you know, talks about how, like growing up with his dad, like how you can just see um, the relationship between them and you kind of, he kind of takes that with his students. And it was really cool because he shared some artwork that you wouldn't normally see, like, um, you know, sketches of like him as a child, and it, it really like contextualizes it. Will Barnett came of age as an artist at the height of the Depression, and he holds some pride in the fact that artists were essentially resigned to a life of poverty. You were doing your art, but you didn't expect to sell mm -hmm. or make money. Mm -hmm. So art was a, a form of uh, deep commitment and passion. Now it's all changed, of course. Mm -hmm. Now it's money. Right. And yeah, fame. Yeah, yeah, fame and money and celebrity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even in the wild days of the New York school artists, Burnett was always a lone wolf, taking his family as the predominant inspiration for his art. I remember we would go up in the summers to uh, Provincetown, Massachusetts during the 60s, and uh, there would be like all this drinking, a womanizing, abstract, sexist, abstract expressionist. And I'd come back to the apartment, my dad would be painting Elena, listening to Vivaldi or something, and, and, and just being him, himself. And yet he was friends with these people, too. He liked them. There used to be a more uh, feeling of comradeship in the yeah. earlier years. We don't have that today. Maybe you have that among the very rich. When you've been around to see every ism that swept through 20th century art, you have a few opinions. Mexican muralist Clemente Orozco, fantastic. Diego Rivera, not so much. Photography, pop art, well, being around a long time now and go, seeing every goddamn school there is yeah. <laughs> and, and, and having to live through everything, uh -huh. I just feel there's nothing better than the human touch. Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at it. When you look at the work of all the great painters, uh, there's a sense of humanity in it. And, it, and you can enjoy them if you live 500 more years, you would enjoy them. You know what I mean? You never lose interest. I would never lose interest in Vermeer. Never. Or I would never lose interest in Nang. Now, maybe in about 50 years, the Warhol will be looked down as being very dated. 
Remarkably, more than 70 years into his career, Barnett is not himself dated. He's still showing recent artwork. Even today, he wants to get up, he wants to go out, he wants to see the world, uh, he wants people to be around him. He's also told me he likes being famous. He loves being Will Barnett. He said it's better to be famous than not famous, you know? So it's much more fun. So <laughs> that's about how Ralph set up, really. <laughs>